you need your car fixed and some nice food, <laughs> this is the place to be. I'm Dixie from Aphrodite's. Uh, we're a small producer based in Forest Gate. Today we'll be making Mahamra. It's this completely delicious dip, originating from Syria, but I'm pretty sure they eat it all over the Middle East. And it's vegan, it's so easy. It's basically roasted vegetables with toasted walnuts and pomegranate. Usually they use this delicious stuff called uh, pomegranate molasses, but um, today we're using my own product, which is actually a pomegranate molasses ketchup, um, made of the same stuff, but a little bit spicier. So we start off with peppers, which we're going to roast, with some onion, whole load of garlic, loads of garlic, um, a chili, a tomato with walnuts, and some olive oil and salt. Right, let's make a dip. So peppers, and we're just going to start by chopping these up. Chuck those in there. See, like you don't have to do it any kind of beautiful way. Get those in. Tomato, that should be a nice flavor in it. One green chili, <laughs> one red chili. <laughs> green, roughly chopped. And garlic, here I have, how many is that? Six, sometimes I do eight. Generous amount of salt, little bit of pepper. So, glug of olive oil. And then even it out, and then whack it in the oven. Super oven, so I've got it at 120, and I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes, or just until it's looking charred and soft and, you know, everything's been cooked properly. So, toasted walnuts. Um, they're really simple. Put them in the oven, 200 degrees, five minutes, and then check on them. Chuck those in there. Pomegranates, if you're in a rush, you empty, you kind of upend it on your hand. Make sure your hands are in this kind of clasp so you've got space. And then you, and then you whack it, and then they all pop out like that. Bingo. So that's more than enough for, for this. Oh, so. Look at that, lovely. This is just standard blender, which kind of mills things up quite um, roughly. That's the base. I'm gonna get the pomegranate ketchup. Hear the crack. Wait, so good. And then, there you go, that's the stuff. Um, so three tablespoons of this. A little bit more. Um, go back over there. If you don't have pomegranate ketchup, you use pomegranate molasses. In addition, I've got these Turkish uh, red pepper flakes and they're totally delicious. In fact, the smell is one of my favorite smells in the whole world. Okay, and then we blend. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pulse it just to keep, so we can see the texture. Perfect. Okay, and that's it. This is, for me, it's a meze at the beginning of the meal and you eat it with bread or little kind of crunchy, vegetable-y, dippy things. But, I mean, you can get it creative. You can put it in a sandwich, you can do whatever you like. Maybe. We've got nigella seeds. In Islam, they say that nigella seeds can cure everything apart from death. Last three ingredients, the most fun bit. I'm gonna do a sprinkle of pomegranate seeds and a sprinkle of these beautiful nigella seeds. Um, and then, da -da -da, magic. Olive oil, loads of that in the middle. I mean, bread, oil, dip. It's perfect. Um, and that's it. We're done. So flatbread, completely traditional. If you're feeling a bit more elfy, then you can use, um, you know, bits of crunchy vegetables. Here we go. Very good. It's quite an intense, sweet and sour flavour, so you get all the sugars come out of the vegetables when you roast it, so you've got sweetness from pepper and, and then you've got sweetness from the pomegranate, and then you've got this really lovely nuttiness which gives it a body. Ta-da!